There are two clutch plates used to drive your portable bandsaw's drive wheel. The clutch plates have splines that engage with the wheel, and they are clamped against the clutch washers. Over time, the plates can become scored by the washers, or the splines can be damaged. Replacing the clutch plate is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the pulley cap from the rear wheel. Now I have access to the bolt that secures the wheel, and I'll go ahead and remove it. With the bolt removed, I can remove the spring disc. Now I can remove the first of the clutch washers. Now the first clutch plate. The second washer. And the last clutch plate. Now I can reinstall the clutch assembly. Both of the clutch plates and clutch washers will need type Y grease applied to them. I'll start with the first clutch plate. It's important to install the right grease or the clutch won't slip at the proper torque setting. Now the first washer the second plate, and the last washer. Now I'll reinstall the spring disc. It's important to install a new spring disc when you remove the old one. That's because as the bolt torques down on the spring disc, it collapses. If you reuse the same disc, it won't apply the correct torque to the clutch. I place it over the spindle, and now I'll reinstall the bolt. I'll just tighten it finger tight for now. Now I can torque the bolt. The proper torque spec is 312 inch-pounds, or 26 foot-pounds. I'll use a screwdriver to wedge between the wheel and the housing so the wheel doesn't rotate. I'll finish up by reinstalling the pulley cap. And that's how you can replace the clutch plates in your portable bandsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.